all the means to make it sound possible. Migos, my name is Taffrey16, and welcome to this month's Benidorm Doubleheader. So, today we are concluding Series 5, which I think has been pretty good. I think it's been better than Series 4, to be honest. In fact, the last episode may have been the best episode, maybe since the Crescent Special, to be honest. So, let's see how this wraps up. Alright, here we go. Who thinks Madge is actually going to get married? Because I sure don't. <laughs> that plan seems way too foolproof for this show. Oh. Don't get. I have the tiniest drop of milk in my tea, please. When? When? What do you mean, when? I do it now. Crazy men. Uh, excuse me, Got him. Miss? Great party last night. Oh, it's been ages since I had a good boogie. Yes, your naked conga was certainly an icebreaker. The human centipede works every time. Oh, God. It's a shame the Costa Blanca citizen doesn't share your enthusiasm. Oh, dear. Ooh. Under the new management of Joyce Thimble Savage, nah, Thimble. I ask you, the Solana is fast developing a reputation as the faulty towers of the Costa Blanca. <laughs> Injured guests, broken rooms, and sordid pool parties are showing Benidorm in the worst possible light. I disagree. Well, we've been coming for over 20 years, and we've always been fully satisfied, haven't we, darling? Oh, yes. At least once a day. This is a disaster. One more foul up, I could lose my job. Well, if there's anything we can do to release the pressure a little just let us know it's mr and mrs stewart isn't it donald and jacqueline please can i rely on your discretion absolutely we never kiss and tell would you mind coming to my personal quarters after breakfast i've got something in mind that i'd quite like to try out i think we'd find that most agreeable uh, we did have you pegged to someone who was curious I'm more than curious. Make sure you're not followed. <laughs> have ears. They're not talking about the same thing. See? I told you she was one of us. That last is worthy of the name All Inclusive. No, it's see? Not. Excuse me. Diego. 500. Joder, tío, no me hables de mierda que te dijo que lo necesito 500. Pero qué? Hijo de una puta, que la voy a decir yo, sí? ¿Qué? Rude pig. So, have you decided what you're going to wear today, ma'am? Well, I'm not wearing a bloody burka, I'll tell you that for nothing. I'll be sweating like a glass blower's ass. Well, you don't have to go too fancy. It's not like a proper wedding, is it? What do you mean? I mean, you're just going through the motions. You're only doing it for the money, aren't you? Oh, great. Does that mean I don't have to come? Hey, what? I've warned you about that cheek. Oh, God, whatever. Huh? Mr. Mahoney is doing this out of the kindness of his heart so that I can inherit Mel's money without months of court appearances and legal fees. The least we can do is respect his culture and his religion. There you go, son. Just like that. <laughs> Where'd you get them? Chinese shop. We've got to make Mohammed feel at home. If he's going to take the piss all day, I'd rather he didn't come. What is traditional Moroccan dress? Yeah, my wife and I were married in the toilet. It was a marriage of convenience. <laughs> Take it off. I'm going to kill Just myself. A nice, simple ceremony, get the marriage certificate, and then we can transfer the money as quick as possible. You don't trust him, do you? I don't know, ma'am. It's a lot to take in. Oh, you've got to let her go on the honeymoon, get to know the other wives. What other wives? Well, they're allowed eight, aren't they? He's already got Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday and Sunday. So where does that leave me? Halloween. <laughs> <laughs> right. That's your attitude, you can frig off. I don't want any of you at the ceremony. I can sort out my own affairs, thank you very much. And don't come crawling to me for a handout once I've got my inheritance, because you'll be rubbing on an empty lamp. 
Oh, well done. <laughs> well, Johnny's trying to lighten the mood. Just stay out of her way today, Mick. What? I don't think she wants you at this wedding. But I thought we were going to be witnesses. I'll go by myself. But I've got... Forget it! You two just amuse yourself for the day, and I will deal with the crap as usual. Hmm. Well, I think that went according to plan. Yeah. Does that mean we can go watch the footy? Looks like it, son. Barca versus Real Madrid, two o'clock at the heartbreak bar. Nice. The work here is done. <laughs> Told you the axe was a good idea. Two aerials meet on a roof, fall in love and get married. The ceremony was rubbish, but the reception was brilliant. Now <laughs> <laughs> well, Michael wants to kill himself. <laughs> Have you nearly finished it, bathroom, Trudy? I think I'm gonna vom. Oh. oh, I had a visit from the beer badger last night. You know, the one that nicks all your money and then craps in your mouth. God, I feel rough. Oh. What the hell happened last night? I remember snogging Liam and then jumping in pool. What time do we get to bed? About half past two. Jesus! Morning, lover. You got any mouthwash? <laughs> got him. I think we can make this, boys. See, I love this. What's that with you? That sounded intense. What did you hear? Nothing. I just mean your tone of voice, your body language. To keep your eyes off my body. All right, I'll none of my beeswax. But remember, a problem shared is a problem halved. What do you mean? I'm just saying, if you let me in, maybe I can halve your problem. You have my problem? No, no, no half. I halve your problem. Why do you want to have my problem? You have enough problems of your own. I know, it's just... Have you never heard the phrase, a shoulder to cry on? No. Well, it just means I can help you. I can give you sucker. Uh, hey, what is this? No sexy in the workplace. <laughs> no, 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 man. I don't mean... I just mean, if you just open up oh, to me... Oh, that's enough. Excuse me. I can help you, man. No. But I can't. Hey. Oh, shove it up your ass. <laughs> shy, shy. Women's. Lechi. Yeah, she is. When they're working with me, who can blame him? The poor dude. <laughs> We spruced up for the occasion. She's obviously got high standards. She's a classy lady, all right. You don't get to serve in first class without a certain amount of grooming. Do you think she'll mind poking back through the curtains into a economy? Only one way to find out. Please take a seat. We come at a bad time. What do you mean? Well, all the mess. What mess? Oh, she's. Oh, okay. She's a hoarder. <coughs> ah. Ah. Oh. <laughs> right. Should we get straight down to business? Good idea. Oh yes. Do you want to start with Donald, and I'll join in when I see an opening? No, no. I'd like to involve you both from the off. If you're amenable. Absolutely. May as well grasp the nettle with both hands. The fact is, since I arrived here, I've had nothing but bad publicity from the local press to the internet forums. Articles such as these have been impairing my plan to turn the complex around. The point is, I am being deliberately undermined and I am determined to crack down on the culprit with all my might. Do you think this is a role play? I'm not sure. As you'll see from the cuttings, the citizen seems very well informed about our misfortune. And they all quote a Solana insider as being the source. Uh, you think you have a mole? Exactly. And I want you to help me smoke them all out. Oh, I want you smoke. They do laser removal nowadays. I've had a flick through the personnel files and I've come up with these suspects. Oh. 
Mateo Castellanos works mainly in the bo well I say works he's typically Spanish if it isn't siesta or fiesta he's not interested uh, we're familiar with him from previous visits nasty piece of work Les Conroy no way aka Leslie possibly in league with his son Liam go on Kenneth Dubeck yeah it's, runs a salon and it's salon definitely now Kenneth. <laughs> known as blow and go <laughs> We've clashed from day one, and I suspect it's personal with him. I we agree. normally get on with the gays. <laughs> it's more or less compulsory on the airlines. But he seems immune to my many charms. I wouldn't trust him as far as I could throw him. Which, needless to say, wouldn't be very far. <laughs> Is she ever going to take her clothes off? Oh, I'm losing the will to live. Your mission, should you choose to accept it, is to gather intelligence on the four of them, shouldn't take long in his case, mm. and help me to finger the mole once and for all. We don't really approve of using animals. Ever since that incident with Big Donna's guinea pig and the cling film. I'll handle this, Jacqueline, thank you. I can tell you <laughs> now, we're not interested. Kenneth is a close personal friend of ours, and if you think we're about to go snooping around... I can offer you a free week's holiday next year, plus 200 euros spending money. We're in. <laughs> You're looking very pleased with yourself. Like the cat that got the cream, what have you been up to? I spoke to Troy first thing this morning. Oh boy. We made up. There's no sweeter moment than when an argument finally dissipates into the ether. Well, you've obviously led a very sheltered life. And did you tell him all about your shenanigans on the beach? Yes. I made a clean breast of it. He just chuckled and said, well, guess that makes us even then. We both snogged a Spanish waiter. Troy's been at it as well. Bloody hell, you're worse than Donald and Jacqueline, you That's two. That's true, yeah. It was the first time we were here. Yeah, I remember. I caught him in a drunken clinch with Wolverine over there. What, Matteo? Yep. Yes. You mean he's a secret whoopsie? Well, I can't get my head round that. I think that's pretty much what Troy said. Weren't yeah. you angry with him? Oh, I was furious. I'm glad I still can. for Hugh Jackman. But then Troy just made me laugh about it so much I couldn't stay mad at him. You see, the thing is, when you've been with someone so long, the way Troy and I have been, you, you can overcome these petty arguments, and there's a real foundation keeping things strong. It's not like some men you see who just rush into... And you're absolutely sure nothing happened? Yeah, she just fell through the door and onto a couch, then <laughs> rolled onto a coffee table. Then she went into the kitchen five times before finding the bedroom where she fell between the two beds and into a suitcase. <laughs> it was a bit like watching a Norman Wisdom film in slow motion. And what were you doing all this time? Laughing, mainly. We had a snog, but, but I'd never go out with Sam. We're more like brother and sister. She's coming. Listen, we're going to play a little trick on her. Just go along with whatever I say, all right? Oh, I don't know, Trudy. It seems a bit cruel. How dare you do that to my friend? What? You know full well what, you little toe rag. Well, you can get yourself down to the shops and get one. Do you hear me? What's going on? Tell her. I... No, I don't want to. Tell her what you did last night. No, you tell her. All right. He slept with you without protection. What? I've told him he is a dirty little scumbag. No, I never. What? You never needed it. Typical man. Wham, bam, wipe it on the curtains and then leave it to the woman to pick up all the pieces. Is this true, Liam? You've got Venetian blinds. Oh, God. I don't remember any of this. I need to sit down. You've got Venetian blinds. I told him to get his ass down the chemist and pick you up a pregnancy test. They don't show up this early, do they? The Spanish ones do. They're extra sensitive. Go ahead, soft lad. What are you waiting for? This is a joke, isn't it? Are you kidding? It's the best laugh I've had on holiday. Only it, it seems a bit mean. But... Oh, how dare you? No, I will not pretend it is all a joke. Sam is a friend of mine. Do you have to keep doing that? Yeah, it's funny and it makes it more believable. Go on. I thought Liam would hit her back. Never pull up a strange sense of humor. Yeah, she does. She's a weird chick. 
Meanwhile, at the Legion of Doom. Don't want to do myself today. Go and cut some hairs. No, Carmen's got that covered. But I'm going to appointment still this afternoon. Oh. oh, I was thinking about taking a stroll in the old town tonight, if you fancy it. No, it's not possible. No, there's a new bar opening up called Eat, Drink and Be Merry. I'm sure I can blag us a couple of tickets for the party. I've got a very good contact at the Costa Blanca Citizen. We have an arrangement. I already say, I cannot do this. I have to see a man about a dock. Now, wait, the bar is closed. Stop it. <laughs> you go and book yourself an appointment with Kenneth. I'll put a tail on the donkey. OK. Shall I follow him to the gay bar? If you need to. Roger and out. No, I don't think it was called that. <laughs> Come on, ma'am. I told Noreen we'd be downstairs by half past. What's it to do with her? I've asked her to be a witness. Oh, Mick's gone walkabout, has he? Bloody typical. I asked him not to come. I'm not being horrible. I just want this over and done with. How do I look? Interesting. Um, look like a princess. Good. That's exactly what Mel would have wanted. You are only doing this for effect, aren't you? Of course I am. If I turned up on my wedding day in a swimsuit and wedges, they'd all smell a rat straight away, wouldn't they? Oh, you go on down, stop mithering. I want to get my top knot straight. All right. Your wish is my command. <laughs> Here we go. This one, number three. Madge, Delilah, Mohammed. I am doing the right thing, aren't I? I know you'd have wanted me to have that money. And whatever I spend it on, it'll be something in memory of you, my angel. Now, enough of that. Not going to do this bloody makeup again, not for you or any man. Wish me luck. Why was supporting Barcelona? They stuffed United twice in the Champions League final. What more do you want? Oh, like Ronaldo. Oh, Michael, we brought you up better than that. Yeah. And it's Garvey on the ball. Garvey that, takes on Iniesta. He tricks him oh, and he shoots goal. and he scores for England. <laughs> Have you still got that spending money your man gave you? Yeah. Right, well, go and get yourself a can of pop. Oh, and uh, while you're there, get your dad a nice cold pint of lager. Good lad. Such a tight one. Yeah. And some nuts. Oh. Gotcha! <laughs> Mick, what are you doing here? I'm watching the footy, same as you. What's this? Bit of Dutch courage? Oh, no. Um, it's non alcoholic. Nah, don't worry. I won't say anything if you don't. If I was marrying Madge, I'd want to be half pissed and all. <laughs> and what's this? Port scratchings? Not very kosher, is it? That belongs to my friends. Huh? Yeah. They, they don't speak English. I, uh, I thought you'd hardly been here before. Met friends quick, don't you? Yeah, uh, yes. Um, Benny Dome is a friendly place. Oh, it certainly is. Cheers. I saw you meant to be on board duty. I have business. This is your business. You're supposed to work here. I tell you what, lad, if I was running this place. Luckily, you are not. <laughs> what if somebody wants a drink? You open the bar. I can't open the bar, man. I'm man in reception. Oof, I don't think you could man anything, Lady Gagas. <laughs> so, all right, young one. Yeah? Did you have a good night last night? Why are you interrogating me? I'm yeah. not a Nancy war criminal. Yeah. Dick. Oh. Uh-oh. Minella's not gonna like this. Yeah. Hey, you better get going soon, haven't you? Yes, must not keep the bride waiting. Well, you've dug us out of an old mate, I promise you. 
If you want for that money, dread to think what would have happened to us. But Mel used to own the Benidorm Palace. He was a very successful businessman. Y yeah, was being the operative word. When he died, he was in debt up to his little yellow eyeballs, bless him. Dad. Oh, cheers, son. So Madge is penniless too. Mm. Uh, more or less. Well, she was, till she met you. <laughs> now I, I understand. I am relieved you told me this. I must be going. Marcelana. Yeah, same to you in Obzom. <laughs> Hold on a minute. The way he just said is there. I understand. The way he said. I'm relieved you told me this. The way he said that. I must be going. Do you hear that? It sounded like an accent crept through there. Marcelana. Yeah. Maybe I'll hear things, them. but <laughs> really sounded like an accent crept through there. What? Mohammed's not who he says he is. He's not dog in disguise. Hey. He's not dog in. Excuse me. Yes. Can I help you? I wish to put my name forward for the karaoke tonight. Well, that's fine. You'll have your usual table. No, I mean to sing. I wish to sing a song in karaoke. Well, it's normally first come, first served. It's not like having a hip replacement. There isn't a nine months waiting list. <laughs> I, I just wanted to make sure I was chosen. I haven't done this sort of thing before. Well, I'm surprised you want to now. If I had it my way, it'd be trained cabaret artists only. But when in Benidorm... Precisely. Um, I I've written out the lyrics, if that's any help. No need. Just have a word with the karaoke host. He'll sort you out. Thank you. There you go. Oh, you make Jackie Onassis look like Subo. Thanks. You should do some advertising, you know. Reach out to more customers. Funny you should say that. I've been promised a quarter page in the Costa Blanca Citizen for, shall we say, services rendered. Oh, yeah. Yeah. It's amazing what some people will do for free low lights and a Dutch braid. Hmm? I'll see you later. Want me to shake one of your pet? Oh, yes, please. It's just to show Donald where I've had my hair done. See you, vodka. Vodka? There you go. I better get back to work before the iron lady spots me. Bit of a slave driver, is she? Well, she's firm but fair, like the Japanese. Bet you could do her job just as easy. Well, maybe, but who needs an amount of stress? <laughs> Besides, there's a lot of men don't like taking orders from a woman, you know. Yeah. See you later. <laughs> what are you up to? Oh shit! <laughs> Oh, it is him. It's a fun thing.
right, Sam? Can't go. Put the taps on. Imagine a waterfall gushing down into a trickling stream. You're making me want to go now. <laughs> this is the funniest thing ever. Is she it? She really believes it. Can we not just tell her it's a wind-up? I feel rotten. Oh, wait until she does the test first. Hey, I can't wait to see her face. Did you wash your hands? Yeah. Good. Look, Sam. He's going to stick by you, whatever happens, aren't you? Aren't you? Yes. Yeah. Good. Because uh. it's positive. Oh. Well, that's interesting. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> Just wait inside, ma'am. You can sit down in there. I'm fine where I am, thank you. Fucking roast. Let them laugh. I'm the one who's going to be 50 grand richer. You look like the woman in that American comedy in the 1960s. I dream of Jeannie. The Adams family. <laughs> Give us a ciggy, ma'am. Now, that's one bad habit I never did take up. Thank goodness. It makes your clothes stink, your fingers yellow, and it fills your lungs up with guitar. Guitar? It's two minutes of pleasure, Noreen, and believe me, I'll take it when I can get it at the moment. Oh, my God, look what the cat's dragged in. I thought you weren't coming. I've got some bad news. Oh, Christ, what have you done now? I haven't done anything. Will you give me a chance to explain? We ran into Mohammed at a bar in town. Where is he, then? Madge. He's not coming. What do you mean, he's not coming? What have you said to him? He's a con man. I doubt his name's even Mohammed. You what? Saw him on the telly. He's an actor. He was playing a part with us. He was just after your money. I haven't got any friggin' money. Yeah, well, he didn't know that, did he? He thought you were some rich widow, and if he married you, then you'd have to pay him off to get divorced. You know, I never trusted him from the moment we set eyes on him. Oh, you kept that quiet, didn't you? No, I never. I said it about 50 times. You couldn't bear it, could you? Couldn't bear it that I had a nice young lad wanting to marry me while you're stuck with that useless streak of piss. Oh, hang on a minute. So you poisoned him against me, made up all those wicked like lies. Look, shall we just go back home, eh? No. I'm going to find Mohammed, and he can tell me what's going on, once and for all. We know where he went. We followed him. Come on. Let's go there, There's then. no point going down there. He got a taxi. Where did Poor you Noreen. See? Do you know, I've been holding this rice for so long, I think it's cooked. Oh, well, we it's not one, no. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, she's got issues. <laughs> Everybody well, in this show has I've issues. I've been through all the evidence and I can honestly say I'm none the wiser. They all look to be up to no good. <laughs> Maybe they're all doing it together, like in that film. Murder on the Orient Express. Oh, I was thinking of Grimsby Gangbang. <laughs> no, my little grey cells tell me this is the work of an individual. We've got to go over everything again. There must be something we missed. I mean, it looks like a tail to. there, but... Sweating cobs in here. No solid leads. What we need is a deep throat. I thought you wanted to get on with this. I, I mean an informant. A whistleblower. I see. That's a bit queer. Take a look at this. Something here doesn't add up. Oh, yeah? Hey, you don't think... Looks that way. You go and jump in the bath and I'll make a couple of phone calls. I'll join you presently. Oh, Donald, you are clever. <laughs> Elementary, my dear Jacqueline. Good God. And then there was Kevin, worked at Staley Bridge Argos. Lousy in bed, but wonderful breakfasts. And then... Ah, two birds with one stone. Could you join me in my private quarters for a quick staff meeting? Um, sorry, we're not staff. Blow and Go is an independent retail outlet. What I have to say does concern you all the same. There'll be a glass of tea Pepe and some pasta sell by dry roasted peanuts. Ooh, she knows my Achilles heel. <laughs> Go on, then. Come on, 
Are you sure the test was positive? Well, you saw it. It was definitely a line. Hiya. Can I sit down? Yeah. I want to go through a few names with you. How do you feel oh, she f about brioche? You know, like the cake. He's flipping the tables on him. I think it's lovely. Listen, Sam, I've been thinking about the situation, and I'm going to stick by you. Whatever you need, I'll support you. Thanks, Liam. But I won't live in sin. You know that, don't you? What? You, you, you want to get married? Oh, I wouldn't rush into things if I were <laughs> She's not? definitely flipping well, it. How does he even know if the baby's his? You calling me a slag? No. Well, if it was Liam, you have to get me done. It wouldn't show up on a test the day after. You said it would. I was joking. He didn't even sleep with you. We were having you on. Is this true? She made me do it. I thought it'd be funny. That's correct. Yeah. Sam, I'm so Takes sorry. Takes like two weeks. And I'm really gutted for you, but that baby's not Liam's. And it must be Charlie's then. Who's Charlie? Who's Charlie? Her. Do you two think I were born yesterday? Uh. I heard you whispering and giggling behind my back all afternoon. Some friends you turned out to be. I met Charlie in the bogs by the pool, and she gave me a cup of her pee to do the test with. Oh. The joke's on you, dickheads. Yeah. So you don't want to marry me then? Not in a million years. <laughs> Cheers. <laughs> You were double bluffing us, oh, That's class, girl. <laughs> Liam, you need some new friends. What about her? Is she was the one that thought of it. Uh, who got you that drink? You did? Yeah. I brought the glass down with me from our bathroom. And guess what was in that glass earlier this afternoon? Thought you liked taking the piss, Trudy. Another round? <laughs> <laughs> That's fair. <laughs> Liam, you need some new friends, though. Just keep hanging out with your dad. Honestly. <laughs> like, normally I'd recommend people to branch out and not hang out with their parents. But in his case, just hang out with your parents. Travel back in time to a medieval court and watch brave knights fight for the honor of their queen. Didn't you already do this? They've got a torture chamber disco downstairs. Does that mean you're doing the karaoke? Ah, bloody ha. Four plays. Cheers, cop. Come on, come on, let's go in. Oh. oh, got him. Right, keep your eyes peeled for Mohammed. It's probably a waiter. It could be a night. More like one of the bloody horses. Keep looking. So, do you think there is any inheritance money? Or did he make it all up? I think he made it all up. should I know? Do I look like Doris Stokes? Don't. <laughs> oh, there he is. He had Mel's cigarette case, that's all I know. He didn't find that in the street, did he? How do you know? Yeah, that's a good point. Well. Oh. He was working here all along. Oh, the cheating bastard! Here you with my real money. Come back here. Now get him. Where's my mouth money? Where is my mouth money? <laughs> oh shit! Oh Oh, you get food, Nick. Nick, don't 
She's very slow. <laughs> so, this is all the other half live. <laughs> very nice. Mind you, a quick blast around with the Dyson huh. wouldn't have gone amiss. Are you coveting my apartment, Leslie? Or are you coveting my position? Perhaps. Sherry? Tell you. Where do you have photos of us? Oh, I know. It's employee of the month. I bet one of us is in line for a bonus. <laughs> Not quite. Oh! More guests. Sorry we're late. Just tying up a few loose ends. What are they doing here? I thought this was a meeting for staff only. They are staff, in a manner of speaking. You see, I've become aware during my brief spell in charge here that somebody in this room is trying to undermine my position. So Joyce asked us to carry out an investigation as to who the mole might be. And we've made a few surprising discoveries along the way. Oh, this is crazy talk. I don't have to stay here and listen to this. Oh, that's a shame, because we've got some really good photographs to show everyone. What photographs? The ones you paid Officer Martinez 250 euros to keep out of the public domain. But sadly, you are closing the stable door once the horse, he has shot his boat. Do you don't <laughs> understand my wife? She must never see these pictures. We were quite surprised when we saw them, and we're broad-minded. Oh, aye, what you been up to, you mucky mare? I tell you already, do not poke around in my business. It is all your fault anyway. What's all my fault? This! Whoa! <laughs> oh, right. Oh, I haven't got my glasses. Is it Barbara Streisand? No, this is a different kind of funny girl. I dare he was 50% Colwyn Bay. Our friend here was arrested last year for soliciting. It was a misunderstanding. Oh, last year? you look lovely. Yes, and at least you can't get her in the family way. No, it wasn't me. It wasn't you who bought the pregnancy testing kit from the pharmacia at 1346 today. You dropped the receipt in reception. Well, yeah, that was me, but it was just a joke. We were winding Sam up. It was nothing sinister. And what other jokes have you been playing, I wonder? Yeah, no, Liam. leave my son out of this or else. Or else what? You go to the press? Perhaps you should have a word with Kenneth in that case. He's very chummy with the advertising director of the Costa Blanca Citizen. Oh. Well, we just talk about a job, that's all. All right, you've proved your point. We've all got an axe to grind. Yes, but only one of you was caught holding a smoking gun. Oh, they're going to scare him off. Now, can we just go back to the hotel and phone the police? No, we can't. I want some answers. I don't think there are any, ma'am. He was just a con man preying on a rich widow. Mm, right, well, I'll skin him alive if I find him. <laughs> You're in the right place for it. Look at all this stuff. It's like Donald and Jacqueline's spare room. Oh, how many times, man? You can't smoke inside. They've changed the law. Ah, ah, you... Oh, you've got some explaining to do, sunshine. Please, I'm sorry. What were you playing at? Have you got Mel's money or haven't you? No more lies. There is no money. Oh. My cousin used to work in Benidon Palace. He told me all about Mel. That he was a very generous man. Hey! We said no more lies. Then I hear that Madge is back in Benidon, and I start to think if we get married, that maybe we can share some of Mel's fortune. I didn't realize he died a pauper. Pauper, you used me. The wages here are very poor. The English do not tip. I'll give you a tip. Don't mess with the Garveys. This woman's been through enough past couple of years. It's all right, Mick. I'll deal with him. What are you going to do? I am going to get medieval on your ass. Oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> One of the most annoying things about a hairdresser's, Kenneth, is how out of date the magazines can be. This copy of Take a Break magazine is from September 2005. Yet I can see Carmen was enjoying reading it this afternoon. In English? No, no English. She's probably just looking at the pictures. She managed to have a go at the crossword too. So I did a little background check, and Carmen's father is indeed Spanish. But we were quite surprised to find out who her mother is. Would you like to tell everybody? Don't just sit there. Go on, get after her. Oh, it's her. Sweet Caroline. Oh. 
Oh God. <laughs> How are you? I'm wiped out. I've been a witness at six weddings today. <laughs> six? Yes. Janice asked me to match his wedding, but the groom never showed up. So I just hung around and got roped in for the next one. <laughs> and the one after that, there were five proper weddings. How many rice, and one how much rice did you have? Margarita and Natalia. You probably know them. Yes, because all gay people live in one big happy international utopia. That's what I thought. <laughs> Listen, I wonder if you could do me a favour. When I get on stage, I'd like you to dial Troy's number and hold the phone up so he can hear me. Could you not get a signal? I, I want to surprise him. Oh, thank you, Derek. And next up, we have Gavin. Where is Gavin? Oh, God. Um, I've never done this before, so I hope you'll all bear with me. I, I, I just wanted to sing a song for my, my husband, who's back in the UK. For once in my life... Oh, he's got a good voice. someone who needs me. Someone I've needed so long. For once, unafraid. I can go where life leads me and somehow Muhammad's fucking I'll dead bro they killed strong. him for once I can touch what my heart used to dream of long before I knew someone warm like you could make my dreams come true for once in my life, I won't let sorrow hurt me, not like it's hurt me before. Come here, For once, hey, no, I'm no, sorry. No, she's coming, she's coming. I know one desert me, no, 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 Tell us who you've been working for. Come on, Missy. The fuck? Carmen, where the freaking hell have you been? I've been skulking round this back alley like some ten euro pony anti What? Not Carmen, I'm afraid. Joyous Temple Savage. And I'm the Solana manageress. And there's me thinking it just brought out some life-size menopause Barbie. So you got the fritzels with you as well. Hello. Enjoying your holiday? Oh, yes. Sorry. Game's up, Janie. We all know about your little scheme. Your daughter has been passing on privileged information and you have been using it to besmirch my good character. You are. She only works in her hairdressers. She hasn't signed the official secrets act. And it's not my fault if fat Jedward couldn't give his gob shut. It's industrial espionage, Janie. You wanted the hotel to lose business so that headquarters would fire me, come to you on bed and knees, begging to reinstate you. And you'd have gotten away with it too, if it wasn't for us pesky swingers. Yeah. <sighs> Carmen didn't want to do it, so she shouldn't get into trouble because of me. Oh, why, Janie? I thought you'd had a transfer to a nice little three-star in Marbella. Because I hated it. It was all tit jobs and designer sunglasses, all for show. I never thought I'd say this, but I miss Benadon. I miss the early tattooed arms and the beer bellies with operation scars, and that's just the women. I miss the family sitting outside with a mug of Tetley's, watching Connie in the vests. I know it's cheap and tacky. Sometimes it makes you cringe a bit, but at least it's real. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to cause you any problems. I mean, you did. I just wanted to come back, that was all. You can come back. We do. Every year for over 20 years. It's called a holiday. You're joking, aren't you? I wouldn't come in on holiday. 
Have you seen the state of some of the people? I'm not going to take this any further on condition that your contact at the Costa Blanca Citizen gives us a glowing report in the next edition. I'll see what I can do. Come on. That's the, I just For once I can say this is mine, you can't take it. Long as I know I've got love, I can make it. For once in my life, ah. I've got ah. someone. Ah. Oh, you got heavy. Life, <laughs> Troy? Troy, did you get that? Oh. oh I'm, I'm sorry. Wrong number. <laughs> <laughs> he didn't hang up, though. Bro must have been lonely. He did not hang up. <laughs> that was a really good one. I'm not necessarily surprised that Muhammad was a con man. I think we all saw that coming. Um, but Janie coming back was super random. Cool to see. Um, I didn't think we'd see her again, but super random. I also am a little bit surprised that they burnt the mad storyline uh, in the second to last episode. I thought maybe it would carry over to the next one. Uh, so now I really have no idea how this is going to end. All right, how are we ending off? You know you, I've got a lovely face. But why have you got all that horrible hair? It's like crispy seaweed. Ooh, I shouldn't have said that. I'm regretting that corned beef food, you Yeah, all right, all right. No, you've got beautiful eyes, but you can hardly see him. Why don't you come in and let me do a lovely number two all over your head? What? Where are you going? Oh, God, no, I'm a, a number two air cut. I'm an hairdresser. <laughs> Ugh, not bad. Excuse me, young man. You couldn't tell me which hotel was a Solana? Uh, yeah. This one here with Solana written down it. Oh, yeah. Sold your hours out with you, Neville? No problem. Oh, God. My apologies. Reading is neither my or my associate's strong point. Now that's brushing your teeth. Morning. Oh. You're up and about early. Now, I'm glad I bumped into you. You are I you? I have a hair appointment at 11 o'clock. And I wondered if I could move it a bit earlier. No, I'm sorry, love. I've had to cancel all my appointments today. I'm very ill. Oh, have you just come back from the chemist? No, Cafe Benidorm. Oh, are they not doing coffees in here yet? No, Cafe Benidorm is a nightclub. But it's 8 o'clock in the morning. <coughs> That's trapped wind, that is. Not anymore. That's why your stomach is so that enormous. Is. You need to get indoors, <laughs> get on the loo, and have a ruddy good trump. When you've quite finished dispensing your medical advice, I wonder if you'd kindly move out my way so me and my enormous stomach can get to bed. Oh, well, I didn't mean to be rude. And I'd pick your feet up if I were you, because if it is wind and it blows as I walk past you, you'll spend the rest of your morning walking back from our beer. Mick, what's going on? I've said I'll tell you when your mother gets here. Have they killed someone? Oh, Michael, don't be stupid. Well, why else would you get us up at 8 o'clock in the morning for a family meeting? I don't even know mm. what a family meeting is. Yeah, well, you do now, cos we're having one. What the frig's all this about? It's 8 o'clock in the morning! If this family meeting doesn't involve the words Euro millions, there's going to be trouble. Have you all finished? <sighs> Whatever it is you want to say, just hurry up and tell us. Right. Does anyone want a drink first? <laughs> no! Just get on with it. Get out of it. 
He has killed someone. Shut up. When I had to stay behind to sort out the sunbed shop that had the fire, I didn't tell you the whole story. <sighs> Them cheap sunbed tubes that caught fire in the Pickering Road branch, well, I put them in all the shops. The morning new lot flew out to Benidorm. There was another four fires. Oh, another four sunbeds caught fire? No. The other four shops. Mick, this isn't funny. I know it isn't. By dinner time, all five are melt. Madge is... Our sunbed shops had burnt to the ground. Nobody was hurt, unbelievably, but... There's more. Oh, God, I don't even know how to say this. We weren't insured. Of course we're insured. Don't be stupid. You never paid the insurance premium, did you? Ugh. No. We've got absolutely nothing. And it's all my fault. Well, less than nothing, in fact. Why didn't you tell us before? Because he's nothing but a spineless animal. Someone who's gone through life never thinking about anyone but himself. That's not true. Well, what can I say? Well done, Mick. You've left us all without a pot to piss in. Everything my Mel worked for in his life, you've managed to destroy. You've managed to make his life pointless. My life worthless. She's not wrong here, actually. I regret the day I ever set eyes on you. Yeah, I'm actually on her side here, believe it or not. Shut up. That went quite well. <laughs> all things considered. Shut up, Michael. <laughs> Kenneth. Kenneth. Oh, come on, Kenneth. Keep it together. Kenneth, there is something I need to tell you. Oh. Open that door, will you, love? If I can't even manage to put that key in that lock in this state, I'm glad I didn't go on with Big Benny from the carousel last night. Oh. Last night, when she went out clubbing, Joyce, she had the locks to the salon changed. Why is that? Oh, we haven't been broken into, have we? Have them kids been nicking permanent solution to sniff again? Honestly, what's wrong with the bag of glue? She says something about the rent. She say you did not pay. That's ridiculous. My rent's not due till the 12th. What date does that say? Today is the 27th. Oh. oh. Well, I'm only a few days late. I'm sure it can be sorted. What the f Get up! I know you're in there, you vile old witch! You've gone too far this time! Open this door! <laughs> Mira que hora es. Oh my god. Um, can I speak to Joyce, please? Betty! Can I sing less, Betty? <laughs> <laughs> yes? Can we help you? <laughs> Bloody hell! How many of you are there in there? Jacqueline and I are staying with a few friends from the Benidorm Circus. Nothing terribly heavy, <laughs> just a contortionist, a couple of clowns, and a Mexican animal trainer. <laughs> Was there anything else? What room number is this? I believe it's 602. I think the number may have fallen off when we had to brace the door last night. Sorry, I need next door. Not a problem. <laughs> 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 Doing. I might very well say the same to you. What have you done to my salon? I'm not discussing it here. Oh, no, you don't, lady. We'll sort this out here and now. Oh, my God, when did this happen? When did what happen? When were you burgled? Um, last night. Oh, Jesus. I better go and check my apartment. I'll see you downstairs. That bad. 
Oh, so she's like just a slob in denial then? As you know, today, finally, we have our hotel star rating assessment. Oh god. That fourth star is so That makes close. sense though. Get away there, let's see. You're gonna give us a heads up, like when the assessor arrives, you know, just so we make sure he's looked after. The assessor is already here. She arrived yesterday morning. And thankfully, I'm not as stupid as you all look. I have personally put her in the penthouse suite on the 21st floor. Didn't know we had a penthouse suite. Didn't know we had a 21st floor. She's been enjoying complimentary room service ever since she arrived, but there is no way she can award us our four stars without checking all the facilities. Maybe I can give her some room service. I don't mind her checking my facilities. Mr. Simmons is a very sophisticated woman. I want you going absolutely nowhere near her. Leslie, That's I'm true. appointing you to look after her. Neighbor. And if any of the guests approach her, I want them removed from the building. Right, I'm meeting her by the pool in ten minutes. Class dismissed. <laughs> Temple Savage, you bitch. I have just spent the last 15 minutes with two cleaners trying to get into my room. Your belongings have all been packed away and are in plastic bags in the storeroom. Don't make a scene, Mr. Dubeck. I don't wish to involve the police. The police? I'm a couple of weeks late with me rent not drowning holiday makers in the pool, you big drama queen. Mr. Dubeck, please lower your voice. We have a hotel assessor in the building, and I do not wish to have a full-on cat fight in the middle of reception. <laughs> Don't you? Well, I bloody well do. <laughs> oh, shit! <laughs> <laughs> Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> I like how Mateo's not helping. Oh! Oh! Well, Kenneth, what are you doing? I think he's upset about something. <laughs> you make me old bag! Oh! Oh, Kenneth, he has, how do you say, lost his plot. Yeah. He's lost his bloody mind. He's definitely lost his job. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Oh, my God. That teeth. He broke them over her teeth. Now who needs a police? Now who needs a police, eh? If you want to rematch, just whistle. If you can! I just look like he... Where are they? <coughs> I'm dead thief! Holy shit, bro! She whooped that ass! I do beg your pardon. I wonder if I can have a moment of your time. Yeah, what is it? I was wondering if there's any free day trips on today. Uh, not that I know of. Where do you want to go? Oh, nowhere. My associate Neville and I are looking for an old friend who we believe to be holidaying here. Aye. But we can't find him. So thought you might scale the wall in a bid for freedom. I'm so sorry to have troubled you. Come, Neville. <laughs> Amanda to the beach may be in order. <laughs> this guy's funny. Bloody hell. I think Neville was lucky to get time off from his job. Frightening kids to bed, don't you? Yeah. yeah. But why don't we just pretend I didn't tell you for another 24 hours? Stupid to ruin the last day of our holiday. You haven't ruined the last day of our holiday. You've ruined the rest of our lives. I can't believe you didn't tell us before. I didn't tell you because then we'd have spent the whole holiday with faces like smack tarts instead of just the last day. He I get the that. same thing to Nemo. Who's Nemo? When I was seven, I had a pet goldfish. It died while I was at school, but my dad didn't tell me till I got home. I spent the whole day thinking my pet goldfish was alive. But he won. He was dead. <laughs> but my dad didn't tell me. 
Unbelievable. Poor Nemo. <laughs> you asshole. <laughs> Bro, shield. Whoop. That. Which is ass. more than can be said for you. <laughs> what is that statue in the background? I'm so glad you enjoyed our little reenactment of the battle between the Moors and Christians. So that wasn't you having a fight with a large gay man who wanted to kill you? <laughs> oh, gracious. No, no, no. Yes, no, no. It was. That's Kenneth, our beauty salon stylist. He likes to help out, you know. I take it that's you telling me we scored extra points for realism. <laughs> Hello. British newspaper going back in, if anyone's interested. Excuse me, would you mind leaving? Well, I was just asking... Uh, Leslie, security. I'm sorry, pet. I'm afraid I'm going to have to escort you outside. What have I done Got wrong? allergies, it's isn't It's only a newspaper. I'm sorry about that. Unfortunately, we have a lot of holidaymakers here at the moment. Yes, I had noticed. Would you like another drink? I haven't had this one yet. Well, I'll have another one anyway. <laughs> Completely gratis. She's... Mateo, another drink for Mrs. Simmons I've and seen a her bowl of nipples, I if think. you please. Uh, you mentioned Mateo's a... uncle roasts his own nuts, you know. Really? Yes, well, that can happen if one stands too close to the barbecue. Yeah. Oh no, I mean peanuts. He has a little stall on the mark. Oh, I see what you mean. <laughs> And a glass of water, too, I think, Mateo. See? No problem. She's fucking dying, bro. Are you all right? <laughs> Absolutely fine. No, bro, I'm she... sure there's nothing more we can do for you. <clears throat> I can't believe well, she whooped that ass. You mentioned a beauty salon. Yes, um, it's closed today. But I can guarantee it'll be up and running first thing in the morning. Oh. I'm checking out late this afternoon. But not to worry. I'm going on to a hotel in Alicante, which has a four-star rating, so I'm sure they will be able to provide a manicure. Uh, oh, uh, three months free rent. Forget it. Have you seen what you've done to me? I'm taking legal advice. That's good, uh, yeah. Three months free rent. Two new front teeth for my Swedish dentist in Alfaz. An unlimited use of the fax machine and reception. Unlimited use of the fax machine? Who am I going to fax? I don't know anybody living in 1987. Six months free rent. Two new teeth from the Swedish chef in Alfaz. And 500 euros cash. No way. Absolutely no way. Think about it, Joyce. How much do you want that port star? How, How much do you want that port star? Look, you get it after being here for only one week. Four months free rent. Two new teeth. 100 euros cash. My final offer. Done. You can book Mrs. Lardy darling for this afternoon. I'm going outside for a fag. I want a taxi there in five minutes to take me to Alfaz. I'm going to see a man about some teeth. Why don't we all go to the water park? My treat. Your treat? Haven't you treated us all enough? Look, the whole point of being here is to get away from our problems. Yeah, we've got a lot to deal with when we get home, but we're not there yet. We've still got another day in the sun, so we may as well enjoy it. How can we enjoy anything when you've left all our lives in tatters? That's your point. our choice. It's up to us. Don't you understand? What happens tomorrow and after that will still be the same, whether we enjoy ourselves today or just sit here miserable? No, I don't understand. Why is he talking in riddles? He's just trying to wriggle out of what he's done. I'm not trying to wriggle out of anything. I've messed up. I've messed up big time, bigger than anything else before, and I've said I'm sorry till I'm blue in the face. Well, sometimes sorry just isn't good enough. Oh, so what do you suggest I do then? Kill myself? Wouldn't be a bad idea. All right, that's enough. <laughs> Michael, come here. Why would you want my dad to kill himself? Why would you say that? Michael, come and sit here. I don't want to sit there. Answer me, Nana. Would you really want my dad to kill himself? It was his idea. Don't you think before you say things? Don't no. you talk to me like that, young man, or I'll tan your backside for you. No, you won't. You'll just sit there tanning yourself. Be nasty to the people who love you and look after you. <laughs> look after me, that's a joke. No, you're the joke. My dad says you say nasty things because you're old. Like that's an excuse. I've worked it out. You say nasty things because you are nasty. 
Simple as that. Him, get hold of him, bring him here. I'll cripple him. Is that before or after he kills himself? <laughs> I'll go and get him. Do you want a cup of tea? Fuck! Ma'am? Two sugars, drop a brandy in it. Holy shit! That was awesome! You know when a family's got problems? When you can't have a civilised conversation without one of them flying off the handle. I just don't feel this is my true vocation in life, Dad. Nobody's saying it has to be, son. We all do jobs from time I'm to surprised time he knows the word vocation. I don't want to spend the rest of my life cleaning pools or fixing showers. Oi, Mario! Liam's thinking about leaving. Tell him what a good little job he's got here. Oh, you should definitely keep his job. There you go. You act too stupid to work anywhere else. Oh, well, thank you very much. <laughs> I am serious. I have never met anyone as stupid as you. Me neither. And most people I know are stupid. Well, well birds of a feather flock together. Got him. Uh, you should not call them birds. It is how you say, bad politics. <laughs> well, by all means, start looking for something else. That's true, but too. Don't hand your notice in here till you've got another job. But that's just the point. If I don't give up this job now, I might just stay in it forever. Can you imagine the embarrassment of working here in your 40s? <laughs> oh, God forbid your 50s. Or, or beyond. Not this guy, I guess. Just, just sad. Now, I wonder if I could trouble you for a diet cola with no ice and a slice of lime, please. Oh, hang on a minute, I'll just get me dad. Dad? How old do I look? I don't know. What do you mean, you don't know? I mean, I'm not good at guessing ages. You know how old I am? Then why are you asking me? 38. I'm not asking you how old I am, I'm asking you how old I look. You don't look your age. That's because I'm not. What? I lie about my age. So most people do. By quite a lot. You're not 50, are you? What? Well, I don't know, you said a lot. Oh, you mean? Stop that spilling me drink! No, no, girls, play nicely. We're only messing. We Ooh. had a saying when I was your age: make love, not war. All right, pal, that's enough. Get up to the bingo. Start sniffing around someone your own age. Look, I'm certainly. Come you... on, Casanova, shift it. Cheers, Leslie. The one chance she gets this holiday to cop off with a younger fella, <laughs> and you. <laughs> <laughs> How did you get on? Nice. What do you think? Well, as the colour matching goes, it's not what you'd call undetectable. Oh, these are only temporary. I'm sorry. It's terribly confusing that you don't start every sentence with what's up, Doc. Oh, very funny. What <laughs> if I keep these front two, this colour, and then change all the others to match? Perfect. You can say you're the bastard love child of Susan Boyle and Simon Cowell. <laughs> <laughs> right, i better be off. I've got a VIP coming to the salon any minute now. What's a VIP? VIP. Very important person. Which is why I can't dear gas into you all day. Oh, hello. Oh, um, sorry about this morning. Slight mix-up with the room numbers. No bother at all, was it, Jacqueline? Oh, no, I was always open to... Well, anyone, really. Yeah. yeah, or anything, judging by the noises coming from your room. Oh, you mean Adolfo? Do I? Adolfo, the Mexican animal trainer. He lost all his animals in a flash flood in the late 90s, and now he does animal impressions instead. Very convincing. Yeah, very. Although I see you do animal impressions yourself. What do you mean? Uh, what's up, dog? Yeah. <laughs> I wish people had stopped saying that to me. <laughs> Absolutely funny. Mm. Very busy and rack times today. You don't think we missed out on any special offer? Can we talk about this statue? Oh, oh, no. <laughs> Excuse me, do you mind if my wife and I nudged up against you? Mr. and Mrs. Stewart. Oh, I no. You down. Again. Not ah, this fucking guy. A bovril. <laughs> Not for me, thanks. I've just had a gin and tonic. No, I mean your hair. I can look at somebody and know exactly what they'd suit. And you looked at me and you thought, hot bovril. Well, it's a new hair colour. Although, I think hot bovril might be a shade too dark. What do you think about going ginger? Wasn't the first thing that occurred to me when I woke this morning. Mind you, you do have to be careful. 
I had a woman in here last week, and she went for honeycomb shimmer. Very thin, pale-faced woman with a short crop and a nasty pinstripe waistcoat. She left looking a bit like Steve Davis, you know, the snooker player. I actually need a manicure. A manicure? Yes. It's not a problem. I'll go and fetch Sue. You don't seem very convinced. Oh, no, no, it's not a problem. I'm sure she's around here somewhere. Is that what Carmen did? Can I get you a complimentary beef tea while you're waiting? <laughs> no, I'm fine, thank you. One minute. Carmen did the manicures, didn't she? Matteo, I need you to do me a favor. Another one, and I'm not your slave. Oh, shut up. I need you to go to the indoor market and see if Fat Sue's in her shop. Fat who? Fat Sue. She runs that nail bar just on the left as you go in. It's called then. Um... Oh, get nailed. I'm sorry. I cannot leave the desk. We have a VPL in the hotel, and I have to be here in case she rings down for something. She's not going to ring down because she's in my salon. And it's a VIP. Oh, Liam, love, I need a favour. I've got the VIP in my salon and I need someone to do her nails. Yeah, do. So no I need problem. you to go to the indoor market and... You what? I do my dad's nails all the time. Look, Liam, do not miss me about it. This is a VIP and I can't have her leave in my salon like she's been eating jam with her hands. Seriously, I've been doing my dad's nails for years. I can do a French manicure, reverse French manicure, European manicure. Oh, my God. What the fuck? <laughs> Who would have thought that behind that little... Pasty, new job, new face, like, job. ...of a genius. Mm. Give me that bucket. By the time we finish with Mrs. Simmons, she'll be giving us five stars, not four. <laughs> right, come on. Oh, by the way, your name's Sue. Excuse me, what do you think you're doing? Just having a chat. Well, yeah. I'm sorry, but you can't be in here without an appointment. I had an appointment this morning at 11, but you weren't open. Well, I'm glad you got that cleared up. Off you pop. Come on. But... Leslie! Well, what? You must be Sue. Yeah. My boy named Sue, you know, like in that Johnny Cash song. Yeah! Come on, no, Maureen. <laughs> Let's have you out of here. We don't want any trouble. But that's my dad. I do his nails as well. A boy named Sue just like that. Shut the Now then, if you would kindly kick your shoes off and stick your trotters in this little bucket. What's in the bucket? Mongolian bottom feeders. <laughs> uh, I'll pass if you don't mind. Well, don't worry, I'm not going to ask you to sit in it. It's the latest thing. Have you not seen them around Benidorm? Uh, no, I spent most of the time in my room writing. Of course you have. Well, what these little fish do is chew off all the hard, scabby, crusty bits off your feet. You flatter me. Oh, no, you won't flatten them, because they're trained to get out of your way when you stick your feet in. Let me show you. They appear to be dying. No, they're just catching the breath. My dogs are a bit whiffy. I've been out on the town all night and I haven't had a bath yet. Oh. Going anywhere nice on your holidays? <laughs> I should fire so Kenneth and hire Liam for this. You're asking us for a character reference. I'm afraid so. My husband went to prison because of you. I realize on the face of it, this does appear to be a sight testing of friendships. I Donald don't went to prison because of himself. Being friends. Hang on, Jacqueline. Let's hear what he has to say. Basically, the economic downturn has hit all areas, not least the Foreign Office. Unfortunately, my position here in Benidorm is in jeopardy of being replaced by a convoluted succession of penny-pinching underlings. I haven't a clue what that means. Me neither. Good British people like yourselves on holiday in Benidorm who find themselves in crisis will end up with no one to turn to. But surely we are the last people you should be asking for help, considering the circumstances. Well, yes, it's just I need to present at least one case from the last 12 months, and, well, let's just say it's been a slow year. So, basically, you're going to get sacked from your overpaid job of sitting on your bum, sipping pink gins in a big house, and you want us, who you help get convicted of fraud, to save your job. Yes. You're right, I'm asking too much. I'm so sorry to have disturbed you. We'll do it. What? I'm sorry? We'll be your character witnesses. We'll save your job. 
I'm not a heavily religious man, but while in prison, two things were imprinted on my memory. My number, Stuart 8369, and the quotation, do unto others as you would have them do unto you. Luke 361. No, Stuart 8369. <laughs> I have some forms I'll need you to fill in. Can I invite you to the consulate for a gin? Pink or otherwise? Uh, no, we prefer it here, thank you. You're very welcome to drop by Neptune's this evening. Uh, we could put you down for some karaoke. But of course. Until this evening. Until this evening. That was such a generous thing you just did. Most men would have told him where to get off. I'm not like most men. Well, I've always said that. Half an hour upstairs. Oh, yes. <laughs> How'd a manicure go? Oh, uh, Mrs. Simmons, mm -hmm. I trust you enjoyed your stay at the Salon of Benidorm? <laughs> yes, although I'm not too sure that three people to help me with my luggage was completely necessary. Nothing is too much trouble for a guest at the Salon or Hotel. Um, I trust you enjoyed your visit to our beauty salon? It was an experience. Wonderful. Now, I know you're a very busy lady. You did mention to us earlier that you have another hotel to go on to. But I just wanted to confirm with you that, well, we did enough. I don't see how you could have done more. What I mean is, I know you've been held up in our luxurious yet homely penthouse suite for most of the week and you've barely spent a day enjoying all our little nooks and crannies. But I trust you will look upon our efforts favourably when assessing our facilities. Yeah. I assume you'll take American Express. Oh, please, please, that won't be necessary. What do you mean by that? I mean, there's no charge. Really? Well, if you agree that our hotel deserves a four-star rating, there's no charge. Well, if there's no charge, I'll agree that you deserve a five-star rating. Oh, well, let's not go mad. They might smell a rat. <laughs> um, well, then, um, if you're not going to let me pay, I don't usually do this, but... At least accept this with my good wishes. Oh. <laughs> well, I'm not much of a reader myself. <laughs> Thank you. It's here. Thanks. Well, um, see you again. See you again, and who knows? Next time, it could be a five. <laughs> uh, uh, <laughs> Bye. Uh, what did it say in the book? How do you go? Get the brasso out, Leslie. Mind have another star to polish? Oh, champion. Nice one. <laughs> Excuse me. Yes, what is it, Mr. Dixon? I think it's about time that I revealed myself. Oh, oh my God! Leslie, Lim! we've got a sex pest in reception. Quickly! All right, pal. Stop struggling. I've got your number. All of a sudden, down is a bit of a nonce. Hey, crazy man! I tell you before. <laughs> Joyce, do you want me to throw this guy out? What on earth's wrong with you? Get off me! Just trying to find my, my business card. <laughs> Gerald Dixon, hotel assessor. I'm here to give your annual star evaluation. Oh, no! And finally, the lavatories. All lavatories were of minimal standard, toilet paper again minimal standard, sadly inadequate hand drying facilities, what and in a the forgettable book? atmosphere. What kind of atmosphere do you expect? It's a toilet, not a wedding reception. Despite all these findings, I have good news. <gasps> do you? Yes, I'm a positive person with an optimistic outlook on life, and if you can assure me all the points will be acted upon, yes. And I'm sticking out my neck a little here, but I will personally guarantee you retain your three-star status. What? But you got through by the skin of your teeth, mind. We didn't get our four stars. Four stars? 
Oh, my goodness me, no. no. I'm afraid you're very wide of the mark as far as poor stars are concerned. Now, I'm terribly sorry, but you simply don't have the facilities. Barbara Simmons. What? Damn and blast. I knew it was her. What are you talking about? Barbara Simmons, the crime writer. I called my wife this afternoon to say that I thought I'd spotted her, but she said, don't be ridiculous. What would Barbara Simmons be doing staying at a Solana hotel? Oh, she signed of it. Of course, her new novel is supposed to be set in the Costa del Crime. She's been scouring the underbelly of Benidorm and mixing with the unclean. <laughs> it all ah. makes sense. <laughs> <gasps> Awful hotel, but I can't fault the final bill. Best wishes, Bob Simmons. <gasps> she never signed it. What? May I? Oh, my goodness. This never happens. Barbara Simmons never signs her books. I mean, simply never. Well, I, I think Bill Clinton is rumoured to, to have one. And, of course, there's a signed copy of Never a Lender in the Smithsonian, but... Oh, my goodness. So, this could be worth a few quid. Uh, the, the monetary value is immaterial to a collector. But the prestige of having a signed Simmons plus... This is what Sasha did next. The book that made her a star. Well, maybe the book that made Barbara Simmons a star can make me one. You, oh. you're such a big star oh. of me. Got him. You're everything I want to be. Not this guy again. <laughs> but you're stuck in a hole. And I want you to get out. I don't know what there is to see. But I know it's time for you to leave. We're all just pushing along. Where have you been? I said you were coming straight down. Been sitting here like a billy no mate. I was packing. We're not going until tomorrow lunchtime. You mean you haven't even started packing? Two bikinis and a pair of flip flops. How long's that gonna take to put in a carrier? You haven't enjoyed this holiday, have you? Of course I have. It's been great. And tonight I think I might get the ice on the kids. Nice hat, homie. Well, here we are. The last supper. Don't be dramatic, Mother. Who's being dramatic? We're still going to be able to eat. I'll remind you of that this time next week when we're scrabbling around in the dirt begging for handouts. I'm going to make everything all right. Don't make me laugh. You've always been the same. Useless. Less than useless. You're a liability. And this time you put the last nail in the coffin for all of us. Michael, where are you going? Don't leave him. He'll be all right. Let's eat our dinner. Let it shine, just let it shine. Four-star accreditation awarded to the Solana Benidorm Blech. in recognition of attaining the required standard in food services, entertainment, and overall facilities. What a lot of shit. Well, I don't know how you managed it. And if I'm honest, I don't think you could. Hmm. But I'd take my hat off to you. Is that what it is? <laughs> mm. <laughs> well, look at Whoa. you. <laughs> We're having five stars now. I have to look the part even on my night off. Well, there's only four stars, but who knows? This time next year. <laughs> <coughs> this is for you. Oh, Liam. Well, it's the first, but I dare say it won't be the last congratulations card. <laughs> it's not a congratulations card. Oh. It's my resignation. I can't tell you how much this means to me. And I know this can't be an easy thing to do, considering the circumstances. On the contrary, it's a pleasure. One of the few CDs that I had in prison was that of the Irish tenor, Joseph Locke. 
Jacqueline and I had the good fortune to have met him in the 70s, didn't we? Oh, yes. Great pair of lungs on him. My favourite song of his has always been... If I can help somebody as I pass along, then my living shall not be in vain. <laughs> I had to listen to that while lying on my top bunk after a particularly nasty beating from Mr. Big. A most poignant epigram, and one I shall certainly remember in my role as British Consul. <laughs> Hello, Donnie. We've been searching high and low for you. Lenny? I, I mean, Mr Chapman. What on earth are you doing here? I thought you still had two years to serve. Between you and me, Donny, I find serving a full sentence terribly inconvenient. It really interferes with my social life. Trouble is, every other time I've escaped from prison, I've stayed in the UK. I like my home comforts. And they've always tracked me down. So then I thought, I know come to Spain. And where best to settle down in? They're my little Donnie's favourite all-inclusive. And of course, I'll still get my own comforts because Donnie knows how to look after me. Don't you? Hope you booked them two weeks like you said. Never when I would hate to have to get our own drinks around a pool. <laughs> Oh, good thing you got Mr. Groovy Gang over here. That is Lenny Chapman, armed robber, grand larcenist, and professional giver of misery and pain. Also known as Mr. Big. Oh, no! Well, I hope you're all enjoying the party atmosphere this evening at Neptunes. <laughs> We have a lot to celebrate here at the Solana, having just been awarded a four-star rating. Yay! <laughs> Everyone's sad, though. But it's not all good news. I have to report the sad resignation of a much-loved member of staff, Liam. Yeah. Although, thankfully, he's not going very far because he's just accepted an apprenticeship with Kenneth Dubeck. Let go! Our multi-award winning stylist. <laughs> yes. Uh -huh. At our four-star beauty salon, Blow and Go. <laughs> uh, very good. Um, and now, for our first karaoke song of the evening, and I think it's a very appropriate one, please welcome Michael Garvey. Oh, shit. What's he gonna sing? Is it psychosocial? This song's got real nice words. I mean, lyrics. And I wanted to sing it tonight because, well, I want my dad to know. I want me your family, me nonna, me mum, but especially me dad, to know that we can get through anything. Because we always have done. <laughs> Is it psychosocial? No matter what happens. We'll always have each other. I hope it's psychosocial and hilarious. When you walk oh. through a storm, hold your head. Whoa, he can sing! Have you found your first full holiday without Roy? Troy. <laughs> yeah. I don't think holiday on my own is right for me. You've always got a cast iron scrabble partner if you've brought someone with you, haven't you? Well, this wasn't really a holiday on my own. I came here to see Kenneth's new shop. That's right. So you and Roy will be back together here in Benidorm next year. Troy? Yeah. I don't know. I think I may fancy something a little bit more exotic. Is Troy not coming back? I thought Roy was Indian. You don't get more exotic than that, do you? I was talking about the holiday. Oh. I don't Yeah. 
suppose you saw me looking over here during my set. I did. Sorry, a bit obvious. Well, we're all responsible adults. I usually do two or three gigs a night, so I usually have to dash off. Don't usually have a chance to give an army number. Well, you've got the chance now, haven't you? Here I am. So where is she? Where's who? Girl, usually sit with. Nice looking, arm in plaster. She's at the bar. I'm on a Sandra's in ten minutes, so I better go. Will you give her this? Why wouldn't I? Damn brutality. Cheers. Oh shit! I'm having their champagne. <laughs> nice one. To us. <laughs> Good job, James Blond. Listen, you knew that singer? He left his number. Did he? Yeah. Here you go. I'm all right, thanks. He had to leave because he's singing at another nightclub now. If you want to go, I'm fine here. Don't be stupid, it's our last night. Oh, for God's sake, don't treat me like a maid, Nant. I'll make it worse. Just go. The club's called Sandra's. All inclusive! Mm. Are you really not interested? Nah, you're a bit cheesy, isn't he? Dunno, I didn't get the chance to find out. <laughs> To the Solana. What are you looking at? All four stars of it. <laughs> to the Solana. Solana. The Solana. Good job, Michael. A really cute ending. I wonder what happens with them next. Nice! <laughs> Buddy, let me tell you, people told me this show went downhill after series three. M maybe they forgot to mention the fact that it goes a little bit down and then way back up again. <laughs> because this series was. In my opinion, not only on well, not only a lot better than the fourth series. Not that series four was bad, but series four was more of like a rebuild. You know, they're kind of rebuilding the shows. They're a little. They, I mean, because I mean, I don't blame them too much for series four because I mean, they were rebuilding, and I'm sure most of it was written around Mel, and they had to rewrite a lot of it. Um, but this series was on par with any of the first three. Honestly, I I, I think, I mean, I, series three is probably still the best series of the show, but this might be like two or three to be honest if i had to rank them very good series uh very cute ending kind of like series three uh be interesting to see what happens with the garveys next unfortunately they probably won't explain it they'll probably just come back at the beginning of the next series and be like oh this is what happened and all that but um because that's usually how this show works it doesn't work outside of the solana which you know makes sense um but it probably won't have a bunch of an explanation but yeah i mean everybody got Good ending, you know. Um, Sam and Trudy stayed friends. Um, Liam found a calling. Good for him. Don't know what's really going on with Mateo. Um, Les is doing stuff. Joyce got her fifth star. Uh, the Garveys might be fucked financially. Excuse me, but at least they got each other. You know, so Donald and Jackie got rid of um, the villain that they introduced for five minutes and then immediately got rid of <laughs> So that's good, I guess. <laughs> um, but yeah, great series. Honestly, great series. Enjoyed it a lot. 
Uh, so next month, we're going to start Series 6. That should be fun. But that is it for me today. Uh, thank you guys for watching. If you liked the video, be sure to leave it a like. If you didn't like it, don't. If you want to follow any of my social media links, uh, they're all in the video description down below, as well as names on my Patreon. If you didn't know, you can be a patron of me for as little as one dollar one pound. You get extra direction videos, as well as reading your comments up to date early. Uh, sometimes more. But that being said, though, my name is Tafferstein. It's been my, what is it, 34, 35, Reaction to Ben Dorm. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.